Hello buddy, Hassan here, engineer, MBA, and investor. And in today's video, I want to talk about bio nanogenomics Q3 2021 results, how they have beat expectations, estimates, and they are a company to watch out for in the genomics space. Now, before we talk about it, before we talk about this company, you guys know the drill, like this video, smash that like button, destroy that like button really does help the channel. If you have not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. Guys, we don't sell any products in this channel, no merch, no t-shirts, no courses, nothing. All I ask you guys is to watch our videos, subscribe and like our videos. And if you even can go a step further, hit that notification bell and share the video. So, Bio Nanogenomics, they released their earnings on November 4th, so that was two days ago, and quite surprising results, right? Not so surprising for existing shareholders, for people that have been following this company, but I think the space in general in genomics, they were sort of taken back. Again, the narrative is that you don't need bio nanogenomics in the mapping field. You have competitors, quote unquote competitors, of course, called Pacific Biosciences or even Illumina. But what people are sort of missing out on is, as we sort of talked about in our previous videos on bio nanogenomics, is that these are these companies like Pacific Biosciences and Illumina are not competitors to BNGO. They're actually actually not even in competition. They're not even take talking in the same language, right? They may be doing the same under the same umbrella of mapping but they're not even doing the same thing, right? And BNGO is what we call a complementary to those types of companies' technologies, right? Again, if you wanna know more information about what I mean by that, refer to our previous videos. We have a bunch of videos that we've made over the past months on BNGO. So I highly recommend you guys to watch those videos where I go and I dive deep into what their technology is about and even an article from Health and Wealth uh, that was written on Substack that was beautifully written. So uh, shout out to Health and Wealth um, once again more. So this is their sixth qual- um, consecutive earnings beat, right? Six consecutive earnings beat. Um, I was listening to the to the quarterly earnings call and I was just thrown away, blown away by the confidence that some of the executives leadership on the call, especially the CEO. I love how he's a, not just, you know, a visionary, but he's an operator, right? This is something you want to watch out for. I've always said in this channel, one of the most important, if not the most important criteria for me, when it comes to investing in companies, I always look at the leadership, specifically at the top helm, the CEO. I need to see some vision. I need to see some operating, like some, like be an operator, be a visionary and execute. I need to see that. That's, that's just me, how I invest. You know, I know some of you have a different way of looking at it. And in fact, you know, there's a note I want to make, you know, if you only look at numbers, you're going to miss out on so many companies, right? You're going to miss out on so many companies. Keep that in mind, right? You have to look at other factors than just digits and numbers. Just don't forget that. So I think really the biggest surprise, I think for most people, again, for people that are not aware about you know, the progress of this company is the amount of Sapphire systems, right? We shipped a total of 24 Sapphire systems to the field compared to 11 systems shipped in the same quarter of 2020. Now, again, if you want to know more about what the Sapphire system is about, if you want to know more about technology wise, what it does, refer to our previous videos, it's not for this video. But my point is the more hardware they can ship, in this case, they basically grow double from year over year in the previous uh, previous year quarter, same quarter in 2020. The idea of shipping those hardware is so powerful because now you also can leverage your software. And that's what this company could be betting on as well, right? The software as a service, right? You have not just the data, but sorry, the hardware, but you also have the data, right? You can leverage that, right? Because you have your hardware in several institutions, several customer bases, you can sort of leverage your data, right? And and offer that software as a service business model. This is what I've sort of seen in genomics, right? These companies are sort of shifting away from those legacy type of businesses where it was a one-time thing. 
a one-time revenue and then sort of you can subscribe get that subscription and i think that's just amazing i think that's one of the most underrated aspects of the whole field in genomic but specifically in the mapping field uh, what Bia and Geo is doing here is just quite amazing. Sold 3,969 nanochannel array flow cells during the quarter ended, right? Which is the most flow cells sold in any quarter, representing 122% growth over the same quarter in 2020. And I just find that incredibly amazing, right? These numbers are just mind boggling, right? For any of those people that just look at numbers, this should grab you in. But for people that are interested in technology, again, watch our previous videos, or just dive deep into this company's website, look into it. And by the way, shout out to Mr. Invest a lot, who makes uh, YouTube videos on BNGO, uh, quite entertaining. Uh, shout out to that YouTuber. Uh, I just love his videos, have the energy, the enthusiasm. When, even when the stock is down, you know, it's, it's hard sometimes to be positive when, you know, your holdings are down or when the company you're trying to talk about is down, right? And I just find that amazing, right? The the level of enthusiasm of this community. Uh, it's one of the reasons why I make these videos about this company, right? I just love the community about about and anything with this company. Uh, I just love it, the energy and so on. And and it deserves to be, you know, this, this is one of those revolutionary companies that, you know, is looking at a potential 100x in the upcoming years. I truly believe that. I'm not saying that just to be pump you guys up. I truly believe that BNGO could literally be 100 billion dollars company right now they're worth about a billion dollars you know again it depends on how they execute depends how they can scale depends how there's so many factors but again the total addressable market is there genomics we are moving forward to a new era with what happened with the pandemic companies institutions governments authorities communities are willing to spend a lot more on these types of companies that are sort of entering in the space of being proactive rather than reactive to diseases, to problems with human health, right? So a couple of other announcements here that I also wanted to cover, not necessarily on here. I, I really don't want to talk about financials here. That's, you know, if you're really curious to see the financials, go look at the uh, go look at the financial highlights. To me, everything is looking good. They're growing at a positive rate. That's what you want to see at a high tech company that's growing fast. Uh, but what I wanted to talk about really briefly is uh, Rich Shippy here saying that there will be a special issue of Cancer Journal featuring optical genome mapping. If you are working with OGM, please submit your manuscripts to this special issue. So again, if you're working in this space, consider going to that URL and that sort of uh, section, the open access journal, and sort of get your uh, word out there. I think that's uh, that's a friendly reminder if you missed his tweet or if you missed that announcement, truly do that, especially if you're supporting this, uh, this cause, this space, and you're behind this company. I think you should definitely get your hands dirty and do that. But that's maybe another topic for another day. And the last thing I want to talk about is the stock price, right? So obviously the stock got hit after that earnings result. My only word about this is, again, they ship more Sapphire system. They de delivered double from compared to last year, uh, same quarter, 24 in this case. Again, Sapphire system are extremely powerful. It's not just a one-time revenue, right? You got to think about the software. You got to think about the subscription. You got to think about leveraging that. And again, these contracts are lucrative, and it's very hard for companies to just remove them on site, right? These things stay on premise for years and years. You can leverage that. You can even build upon that, build relationships. So it's extremely powerful. And then you have these types of numbers where they sort of broke, like I said, about the sales part. And again, just think about this and think about where this company is going and think about these record-breaking numbers. And then you see, you know, the stock being down a few percent. To me, the stock market is just, you know, it's a volatility game. You know, it's it's run by, you know, Wall Street business suits, people that have absolutely no idea of anything to do anything with technology. All they know is digit numbers like one, two, three, four, five, six, nine. That's all they know. Right? They know digit numbers and they just put in their calculator, the Excel, Excel sheets with formulas on their Excel sheet, like sum, average, median, mean values, what whatnot. And they compute those and they decide whether the company is valuable or not. And I think this is something that you as an investor should be aware of, because if you believe in the technology, if you believe in the sector, if you believe in the vertical industry, and if you believe in the leadership ultimately of the company, and if the fundamentals have not changed, then you should not change your thesis either.
that's just my two cents. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Wanted to make this quick video on this beautiful Saturday. Get some sunshine there, guys. It's a beautiful weekend. Uh, winter is coming, so you want to be ready for that. But before it does come, get your sun out there because trust me, at uh, I guess this Sunday time changes. You're going to have a lot less sun. So thank you so much for watching. Like this video. Smash that like button. Destroy it. If you have not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. And leave me a comment below what you think about BNGO and its quarter this time. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful Saturday. Thank you. Thank you.